Sometimes the loyal hound has to protect the rest of the pack from wild, vicious beasts that can attack at any time. Yeah. Come on, beastie boys. <laughs> yeah, definite deficit in the beast department today, though. <laughs> uh, the loyal hound will just have a snack. Yes, I'll be needing all my strength to wrestle a... D nothing. I can't even wrestle a cockroach on an empty stomach. <laughs> so you're going to be a millionaire, Dad? Not quite, Max. I'll just feel like one. <laughs> but with all the money we're getting, you can buy a new gym, right? Why would you want a gym? I am seriously overweight and unfit, Mum. I'm very concerned about it. Give me your pendant and some rollerblades. What size, mate? Steve, stop spending money before it's earned. Liz, it's not every day you start the biggest job of your career. Four months' work, that big bucks. <laughs> yes, Mum, if Dad wants to spend lots of money on me, then that's his choice. A man can't buy a few small things for his family. And a full-size basketball court. And a full-size basketball court, I'll get that. Then what is the point? That's what I say. Madonna spends three hours in her gym and runs 20 k. So join a gym that's 10 k's away and run there and back there. And what? And look all sweaty in front of my friends. I'm very insensitive for a mother. I right? try, Max. Here's the loyal member of the pack waiting to be fed by the other loyal members of the pack. Come on. Try, Max. Any second now. Ben. <sighs> He's getting a gym. I want some Nikes to go off the basketball court. Your dad is only doing the plumbing on one housing estate, not the entire east side of Manhattan. America! We can go there too! I've always wanted to see where Jason Priestley lives. <laughs> Daddy, please! Ah, good. Steve has obviously realised he's forgotten to feed me. How are you, mate? Don't fret. Just whip out the old goodos. <laughs> Don't tell me. They delivered the pipe to the wrong site. There's no site. The job's gone kaput. Steve. A developer. Finance fell through the bank, called round this morning. No warning, that's it. Job's off. Car, Steve. Pile it up. I'm being very loyal today. Whenever something bad happens, Dad, you, you know you can count on me. I mean, I'll always be there for the family. If you need anything, just ask. That's good girl, Max. Just, uh, just refrain from spending money. How can you ask that? You're so cruel! Why did I pay cash for the new ute? Well, we saved on the interest. What good does that do now? Get ready for school. I need to talk to your dad. Come on. G'day, Max. How are you? Look, I know it's just an oversight, but my meal is about five minutes overdue now. Hey, you idiot! Go on! No, 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 no. All right, OK. Nice to see Maxine is so happy this morning. <laughs> Excuse me, that's not how you treat the bravest member of the pack, the protector, the beast fighter. <laughs> Nine out of ten spaniels agree, I am an extremely brave dog. <laughs> so you're saying you're not a spaniel, then? <laughs> Who are you calling? The Apprentice Training Board to get some financial assistance. What for? No, 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 no. We need to pay, Jake. We're not going to have any money coming in. No, we don't do that. Let's just, just settle down and, and just think. Okay. Is that long enough? Can I call now? Yes, yes, yes. Just relax. <laughs> settle down. Hmm? Steve, we knocked back work to do this estate. We have nothing on the books for the next four months. How are we going to survive? Let alone fend for Jake. It's good. Excellent. See, now you're thinking. Not just charge it off in all directions. It's good. Only for Jake. Oh, come on, he's a member of the pack. We stick together, don't we? If we can get $60 a week for Jake, that'll tide us over until the money comes no, in. No, no. Charity. We do not take charity. Ah, well, I do. I'd love a big bowl of charity. Pile it up, Steve. Give me a big, fat, juicy bowl of charity. Mate. What can I think? With this dog and an extra feet all the time. Bob, out. Go on, get out. Yeah. Stay there. Urgh. Okay, fair enough. Well, go wait outside. You bring it out when you're ready. The other alternative is to let Jake go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll get the broom. We are not letting Jake go. He relies on me. He'd never survive out there. Good day, Mr. M. Mrs. M. Hi, Max. Ready for work. Big day, huh? This is Monday, isn't it? <laughs> Big day, the big job. You must be a bit edgy. I know I am. Did you ever knock? What? Well, we may have been in the middle of a very important discussion about very 
private matters. Oh, sorry, is that what you were doing? Well, no. Okay, let's go then. Where? <laughs> Mr. M, you crazy guy, the big job. Uh, can't start the ute with you, Jake. Okay. See you, Mrs. M. See you, Max. Aren't you going to talk to him? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with you. Since when were you a doctor? I'd be dying for all you care. <laughs> Mum. Jake's not really going, is he? In lean times, the pack gets culled. The weaker members get pushed into the pool like on Man O' Man. <laughs> I never thought it'd happen here, though. Poor Jake. He can't even swim. <laughs> ah! oh. Oh. Sorry, Mrs. M. <laughs> Jake, what are you doing here? Well, didn't Mr. M tell you the big job's off? Yes, I heard that. He's got me fixing the plumbing in here. I'll be doing the toilet next, so if you need to go, make it soon. <laughs> Did Steve say anything else? Oh, yeah, he said, he said, take your time and do a good job. Perhaps we should chat. Well, I don't have the time, Mrs. M. I've got lots to do here. Duh. Right. <laughs> so you've changed your mind. You're taking the training stuff to do Jake. No, I've made a decision. To do what? Absolutely nothing. Oh, that's very brave. Well, what can I do, Liz? I'm not second Jake. Gee, things really are bad. I know something that might help. Well, what's the problem with taking this subsidy? My grandfather, in the 30s, he lost his job and all his prospects. He had to take charity. Well, OK, it's not a very good feeling. He jumped off a bridge. <laughs> OK, it's a very bad feeling. But we could get him to a new master, transfer his apprenticeship. Liz, he's my apprentice, my responsibility. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. I'll work it out. Stop saying that. You sound like Tonto. <laughs> Here we go. If I supply Jake's food, we won't have to get rid of him, right? Oh, that is revolting. Yeah. Bob, give me that. Okay. Now you give it to Jake. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, we must really want to get rid of him. Poor Jake. One minute he's up, the next minute he's a shih tzu. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. M. It's Maxine, Jake. What was that? It's really good that you haven't been sacked, Jake. What? <laughs> oh, Maxine. So you haven't been fired then? I mean... Well, that, that's right, Dad. Oh, you, you didn't, did you? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm feeling a bit clammy. I'll, I'll go and lie, lie down. If she's going to lie down, can I have her goodos? So that's what this is all about. I'm going to get sacked. No, Jack. No. Oh, you're not sacked. I've just been out trying to line up jobs so that we can keep money coming in. How many? Well, as of now, um, none. Not many. No, I, I know. I, I can do better. Hey, don't feel bad, Mr. Emmett. It's not your fault. I feel bad for you, Jake. Well, I... I know I annoy you sometimes. Dad. I've been saving up for my likes. And I want you to have this. So you can pay Jake and not sack him. Ah, that's how a pack should be. Loyal. The kid's a natural dog. He even looks a bit like a beagle. <laughs> no one's second, Jake. Okay, mate. It was a nice thought, Ben. Why don't you go and play in your room? You mean we don't have to go to school? <laughs> oh, you missed the bus. I'll drive you. Go grab your sister quickly. Oh, you, we've got three oh, minutes. Oh, no, breakfast. No, no, what's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So there you go, mate. Yes. I mean, it's no big deal. <laughs> we may be starving. We may have to sell everything we own. But you are not going anywhere, right? Great. I feel a lot better. God, Steve. Doesn't even mind that I've snuck up on the couch. Do you, Stevie, <laughs> bud? Bob might be going, though. Ah, that's, that's like a joke, right? Off the couch and outside. Go on. Maybe it's not. <laughs> well, cup of tea, Jake. Oh, yeah, thanks, Mr. Oh, uh, you couldn't pitch in for some milk, could you? <laughs> Joke, Jake. <laughs> No water. too valuable to get rid of. I mean, I'm the protector of the pack. You know, who'd chase off the bears and the lions and the postman? <laughs> Uh-oh, Steve's home. Maybe i better suck up a little just in case. Hey, Steve, looking well. Nice bit of parking. <laughs> hey, did you see that? He dropped the thing with... What am I saying? This is my opportunity. Where would they be without me? I'm indispensable. <laughs> Good day, Jake. Hi, Mr. M. Been out hustling for work. Quoting for a few jobs this afternoon. All right. Here, you got all the figures. Just have to work out the prices, and then who knows? Back in business. When? Oh, a few weeks. Hang on, where's... Oh, damn it! I've left some behind. Never fear, the hound is here. He's come through again just when you need him. Ha <laughs> ha, what a dog. Bob! No, don't thank me, Steve. It's enough just to be a member of the pack. Hey, hey. Look, it's ripped. ripped. It's unreadable. Really? Get out. Go on. Get out. Some members of the pack can't handle the pressure. <laughs> Is this far enough? You go right across town to get these, now I've got to go all the way back again. It doesn't matter, Mr. M. Of course it matters, Jake. I think they're dealing with some cluts. We'll never get those jobs. Found a new plumber to take me on. What? What? I organised it myself. Just got off the phone. Took me ages to find a bloke who didn't have an apprentice. And who, who'd you get? Uh, this guy called Arthur Smalls. <laughs> Arthur Smalls? He's 80. He's got a bad wig. He probably hasn't bathed since the Second World War. Well, I'm lucky. I'm lucky he needs an apprentice. He probably ate his last one. Look, Mr. M, you can't afford to keep me on. I'm a burden. Look, this is the best thing to do. Just transfer me. No, no. No, I'm, I'm, I'm responsible for you. Mr. M, please, he's going to pick me up in the morning. What, do you mean you went and did all of this without asking me? Well, you wouldn't want to do it. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. My own apprentice drags a rival plumber in here. I'm just doing what's best. You didn't ask me. This is my fault. If I hadn't chewed those papers up, this wouldn't be happening. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it, go. I'll see if I can. Go. So, this is the lad. It's scrawny, not much of him. <laughs> Vegetarian, is he? Come on, Steve, you can't let Jake lead the pack. This guy's a dork. Bet you didn't learn much from this old bugger, eh? Well, I learned heaps. Yeah? Well, as long as he didn't tell you to follow the book of regulations. You'd be right in the poo if you tried that with me. Why is that? Because the book of regs is a load of crap. Right, Steve? The last little bugger I had was too stupid to put the stormwater pipe right in the sewer. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Sale of the century contestant, is he? Calls this illegal. <laughs> That's why we have to bribe the inspector. <laughs> Jake, this is crazy. You form a new pack with a guy like this, you'll have rabies by the end of the week. Tell him, Steve. <laughs> is that your kid, Steve? Needs an air cut. <laughs> hey, hey, he did teach you, I suppose, that if you do a six-hour job in four, 
the charge for the old six hours, didn't he? Not deaf, is he? <laughs> oh, come on, lad. Time's money. Or at least it is to the poor bugger who's paying. Hey, eh, Steve? <laughs> come on, Steve. Order him not to go. Come on, you can do it. Pretend he's getting up on the couch. Hey, Steve. How's that cute little missus of yours? She's good. Yeah. I'll bet she is. <laughs> come on, Steve. You and me, all for one, one for all. Let's get him. <laughs> See you, Jack. See you, Mr. M. Right, here's the first job, an old pensioner. She wouldn't know a sewer from her aspect. Ah, uh, Steve? <laughs> what happened? I thought you were right behind me. Steve? <laughs> Should be a bloody washer. Where's the bloody washer? I can't find Bob. Mate, I'm busy. He'll be round. Come out of the bathroom, Max. Who's this in that? Come out, Maxine. Get ready for school. No, I'm sick. Les, you seen a washer for this? Come out of the bathroom, Max. I could be dying and you wouldn't even care. Can somebody answer that? I'm giving you ten seconds, Maxine Morrison. Why would he do that? We've got one right here. Can you get that, mate? Oh, look, don't worry. Hello. Yeah. What, Arthur? How do I know where Jake is? I thought he was with you. Well, when I've sent him to the supplies, he's always found his way back. Then the week. Look, if I see him, I'll call you. Yes, I'll tell Lizzie you said hello. I'm sure she thinks your eyes are lovely too. I've had enough of this, Maxine. I'm fed up. Can't go on like this. I'm going to strangle Maxine. I've stuffed it all up. It's all going wrong. Have you got a screwdriver? What's the number of those apprenticeship training scheme people? But, but you said that... I was wrong, right? Wrong. But you've signed Jake over to Arthur. How will you get him back? Easy. I'll punch him in the nose if he tries to stop me. Jake belongs here. What's, what's the number? Um... Ta-da! Oh, I did it. Saved the day. Brought him back alive. Oh, mate, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I knew you'd miss me. Give me a rub, Steve. Thanks, Mr. M. Hey, Mrs. M. Hi, Jake. Hey, down here. Isn't anyone going to say, good job, Bob? <laughs> Jake, I want you to reconsider this other small thing. I want you back here. Okay. <laughs> Took less effort than I thought. Was it his wig? Arthur is a pain. Jake! <laughs> Hello, Maxine. Oh, I I've got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't think Bob liked Arthur either. He bit him. Bob was with you. He must have gotten to the youth somehow. Anyway, Arthur was bawling me out for breaking his rivet gun when <laughs> Bob went for him. I told you I saved the day. Brought Jake home. All on an empty stomach. Those good eyes ready yet? <laughs> At least the beagle appreciates me. <laughs> I'd rather work for you guys for nothing. Did you know there's this scheme for supporting apprentices? Really? Hey. <laughs> when the crisis is over, the time of plenty returns. The pack gathers to celebrate its survival. Uh, thanks very much. Mm, fleshy bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he said that. Yeah, eat up, Jake. You need your strength. Tomorrow, we go quoting. I don't know how Arthur gets all his jobs. All his quotes are so high. Are they? He's always beating me to jobs. Mm. More meat, Jake? Mm. Got your appetite back, Maxine. Did you say something, Mum? Mmm. Yeah. Well, Lovely bit of fat. I'll go to there, are you? No, Dad. Yeah. Of course not, Steve. Mm, great sauce. <laughs> You'd have to remember the, uh, any of the figures, would you, mate? We need a couple of jobs in a hurry. I've got a terrible head for figures, Mr. M. Oh, well. That's why I had to write them down. What? <laughs> Wash, I've been looking for that. Jake! Hello, hello, hello. So anyway, let me show you how I took on Arthur. 
sure he was bigger than me, but I wasn't scared. He went for my tail. I went for his arm. He weaved to the left. I went for his ankle. We wrestled to the ground. And I grabbed his wig. Sure, I've seen people getting scalped in cowboy movies, but this was like the real thing. He's in there and away I went. Arthur didn't stand a chance. 